Hey everybody, wish you were here. Welcome to Shop Class Online. Today, what we're gonna learn is we're gonna learn how to put our new CNC machine together. We're gonna learn a time, or we're gonna watch me put it together. I wish you were here to help me put it together. Uh, we're gonna do a time lapse. And then what we're gonna learn is we're gonna learn the parts and pieces of the CNC. So for those of you who uh, hopefully we come back, uh, you can, we can kind of get an introduction to the CNC and learn how it works. All right, so if you can see here, here are the parts of the CNC, and uh, we have a bunch of stuff going on right here that we're gonna put together. And then back here is the actual bed of the CNC. And so we've got a lot of component components that need assembled. So we'll see what happens. So we got the CNC together and let's take a look around and see what it looks like here. This is what it is. So a couple things about the CNC that we want to know is this right here is the controller and the controller controls the X, the Y, the Z and this is how we zero our, our router bit on our machine. Over here is some of the control modules and uh, we have a start and stop button if you look and then over here is our spindle speed so this little dial is going to tell us our, our spindle now if we look up here at the table itself this mechanism right here is called the spindle the spindle is a liquid cooled spindle so if you look at those hoses coming off there it's liquid cooled and uh, we think of this as a router. It's an upside down router and we can put any router bit we want. Week two we're going to learn about what router bits we're going to put in there. Um, this is actually a ball or a uh, screw controlled motor system and so what that means is some of these things are lead screws and that's what makes the the motor turn. If we think of a CNC we're thinking of it in an X, a Y, and a Z axis. So there's going to be motors that are going to make this thing go left and right, and then there's going to be motors that are going to make this thing go up and down. And that is, in general, our CNC. Now our CNC has a four foot by two foot bed, and it is a Powermatic. So Powermatic made machine, and we just had to put it together. But overall, I'm happy with it, and uh, can't wait to get it working. So we have to put some 220 power to it, there is a dust boot that goes in it. If you notice that this is called a T-slotted table, and this T-slotted table is gonna have clamps so we can hold our piece of lumber down when we're working. So basically, uh, we have a lot of things. We have a dust shoe that goes on here, and it's gonna allow us to work. We're working. Also, we have these T-clamps, and T-clamps are going to help us hold our piece of lumber down when we're working. So for example, uh, the router bit's going to come in and obviously you know that when we're feeding something we got to make sure it's earthquake proof. The problem with the T-clamp is, is we have to watch out that the router path that we're going to design doesn't come in and hit the T-clamp. And so we have a series of these, a set of these, and these are what they look like. So also what I want you to know is the collet. The collet is this underneath part of the router bit and that's similar to what we use on our hand routers basically it's going to hold the bit in place and so there's different size collets for different size of bits so again we have the dust boot we have T-clamps that we learned about and then we have the collet 